So the basic setup of this sorting system is super simple. There's a cart assembler at the base with a straight line of chassis connected to it. This line doesn't have to be straight though, but we will get into the benefits of that a little bit later in the video. For now, let's take a look at the things that are attached to the chassis. First, you'll notice these backward facing portable storage interfaces. Now don't let that confuse you. If you stick a portable storage interface facing backwards on a chassis, it will simply extend into the chassis block and continue to do what it's supposed to do if it finds another portable storage interface across from it. So what you're seeing up there are two portable storage interfaces facing each other like this with the chassis sitting between them. The cool thing is that if you stick one of these interfaces to the chassis, it will connect to the assembler system and function perfectly for the purpose of transporting materials. And for the purposes of organization, I kept the slimy side here so that everything on this side is stuck to the chassis and everything on the other side remains on the outside. Now here's how all of this works. First, the system is powered on and once it is, all of the portable storage interfaces will connect. And although it's a bit difficult to see through the chassis, but you can see as I turn it on and off that they are connecting right here. This one portable storage interface, as you can see, has a chute leading into it. And this can serve as the input for your sorting and storage system. So whenever you put anything in here, it will proceed to enter the cart assembler system and it will go and sit in this chest or any other storage that's attached to the chassis. Now remember, as your system grows and more materials go through it, you likely will want to consider attaching a lot more chests or even vaults to this system so you can avoid it overflowing and clogging in the future. Now with these portable storage interfaces, you can see that the chutes are under them and they contain specific item filters. This will ensure that only this item will come through and this will happen as soon as the item gets deposited into the storage that's attached to the chassis. So as you can see now, if I place a bunch of orange concrete in here, I wouldn't even have time to see it being sorted. I will just find it in the correct chest. Neat, isn't it? But this is definitely not all. I had promised powerful features and powerful features you shall get. But before we move forward, remember that in order to expand or make any changes to the system, you should always power it off first. Otherwise, some messy things might occur. You can deposit items from anywhere on the map simply by adding more chassis to the end of the system and bringing it all the way to your farm or mine or whatever it is. Then you can deposit items by sticking a portable storage interface and connecting an input to it and proceeding to add your items and you'll see them instantly sorted. By the same strategy as depositing outlined earlier, you can draw a line of chassis, then stick a portable storage unit with a chute under it and start withdrawing what you need directly from your farms. But always make sure to apply the correct withdrawal filters before powering on the systems because you can have a crazy overflow of materials pouring out of this chute if not. Now you can make this fancier by building a simple knot gate right here, then adding a redstone link with frequency that matches this item to make things easier and placing the receiver for this redstone link on the chute corresponding with this item in the main storage component. This way, whenever you flick on this lever, you will enable withdrawal from this unit and disable sorting into the main storage so you can get everything directly from the farm. Now one final note I'd like to make on this sorting system is that as I was finishing up, I came up with some new ideas on making this even more powerful and allowing seamless withdrawal from the final storage chest instead of from the farms which would make this more practical in my opinion. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to actually build that better version and I'll go ahead and get started on it. And before you go, I'd like to remind you that you can find links to my Discord, schematics, and other useful links and notes in the video description below. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions or make any suggestions. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.